Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. Yesterday, we put in our pickaxe to be upgraded, and we did a ton of fishing. So what's our weather? Please give me rain. It's clear and sunny. I need one. I need another rainy day. Spirits are displeased. Great. Good. That's the worst thing. You could see that she had a uh, skull, and I don't too care that much about a rerun. Okay. Man, those strawberries are coming up fast. We might get them soon. I forget exactly how many days strawberries take. It might be six or so. Also, all of our potatoes are ready. That's gonna be worth a good amount of money. Got two double potatoes, two double harvests. That's really nice. I don't think I'm actually going to plant any more crops this season because those strawberries are going to be doing absolute work for us. Actually, it's only day 17. Maybe I should. Because even though strawberries give you a lot of money, I would like money, money. We do have 2,000. Now, I think at this point, I'm going to stop worrying about unlocking more, more upgrades. And I'm actually going to use that money to get a coop. Because we do need 4,000 for that. Now, what's the plan for today? Let me think about this for a second. All right, well, we can do foraging today. I need to forage for the berries, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy that new fishing rod. I know I literally just said that I was going to save the money for a coop, but we're going to be getting a lot of money really quickly in these next few days, and plus, fishing is worth it. It gives you a ton of money anyway, so I think we'll make it back the money that we pay for the fishing rod, and then we're going to do some fishing. Lake fishing, I think I'll do today. Just not for any particular reason, but just because we don't go fishing in a lake very often. We'll be able to get some more fish. Let me check the fish tank real quick. Lake fishing. Largemouth bass, carp. I know I can catch a largemouth bass. In fact, we should be able to find a largemouth bass and a carp this season. A lot of lake fish are available at any season. I'm gonna bring this bait with us, obviously, as well. And if I'm gonna get a new fishing pole, I don't see a reason to bring the bamboo pole with us. You know what? I'll take a stop by the community center to donate that sunfish. I don't need the sardine or the halibut because I already donated them. Is there anything else we need to donate while I'm here? We have the 10 hardwood. Uh, well, we don't have enough stone to donate yet, because we need 99, which we're just short of, funny enough. Mm-hmm. Oh, guess what? I never showed off the other boiler room one. So we got the blacksmith. We need copper, iron, and gold. We have copper and iron, but I'm not going to bother with it until we have a gold bar. We have geologist bundle, which we won't be able to finish until we get deep in the mines. These are all mines-based ones, by the way. And the adventurer bundle, which once again, we won't be able to finish. We won't be able to get these two items until we go deeper. So I'm not worried about that. The slime we could do. Actually, how many bat wings do we have? Three. Oh, okay, well, we won't be able to do it. We also don't have nearly enough slime. What happened to all of our slime? I could have swore we had more slime. What's up, slime? Cool. Well, yep, there you go. Definitively, we're going to buy a new fishing rod and we're going to go lake fishing. Oh, and also get the salmon berries. I already showed y'all where a lot of the salmon berries spawned before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and collect them as we go from now on. All right, here we are. Luckily, they're open right when we get here. So fiberglass rod yoink and the way you put that is the same way you put stones into the slingshot just load it in and it doesn't even take up an inventory slot so that'll allow number one fish will bite our our bait a lot faster and number two you do cast a little bit farther away from land using an upgraded rod which actually gets you higher quality fish so I'm going to be fishing in the mountain lake because that's specifically where a lot of the fish that we need will spawn. So that seems like a pretty good plan to me. Oh, I'd like to ask the ball around, but you don't seem like the sports type. Uh, I want to play catch with you. 
Really? Guess I underestimated you. My arm's a little sore, but maybe next time. Friendly boy. Give a gift to Linus, because why not? All right, I'm ready to go fishing. Let's do it. Oh, there's the carp. We need that for the bundle. There it is. That actually took a while. Okay, it's iridium quality. That's worth a ton of money. I'm talking like 250, I believe. I would like to get something a little less rare. Well, since I've already caught everything that I want to catch today, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them in. Also, just so you know, we've actually caught every fish that we need to catch this season, except for anything that's caught in the rain so the only time we are actually obligated to fish anymore is in the rain which is nice for us because we do need to get the eel carp Jeez. do i have a gold carp i guess i might as well it's not that big of a difference simply because carp are so cheap but this one's gonna hurt look at that 98 energy iridium largemouth bass it's either 200 or 250 i forget is that all we had to donate i think so just those three Sturgeon's not going to be until, I want to say, fall. That was the same thing. Uh, catfish needs to be caught in the rain. Tiger trout's fall or summer, I don't remember. Eel's the other one we need to catch in the rain. Walleye is summer. Those are just special areas that we can actually go and catch now if we wanted to. Summer, summer, fall, I want to say. That's all... I, I know that those can't be caught in spring, but the others... The ones that aren't in spring, I'm not 100% sure about their season, but I'll I'll know when, it, when the time comes. There's actually something on the board. Please don't be a fishing challenge. Get you green algae. I mean, if it'll make them happy. Do I actually have one? I do. Ooh, I'm going to find Sebastian and give him that. Because more so than the money. It's not really worth it for the money. It's really worth it for the friendship that we'll gain. That'll be a really common item for Sebastian. Not really common, but we'll be getting a lot of it for Sebastian later that he loves, so I'm not too worried about his friendship. Sebastian, I'm begging you to leave your room. I believe, if I remember right, he leaves at 6.30, so I'll do... I'll cut down some trees while we wait. All right, bud. I got your algae. Come on out. I know you're going to do it. Look at that timing. Hey, thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. Be careful not to give them another one. Even if they do ask for it in the bundles, that doesn't mean they like the item. What am I going to do today? I don't know. Probably look for... I don't know. He loves to look for frogs in the rain, which I find super cute. I think that'll just about do it for today. Oh, I need my money. Womp. That'll make a difference. Yeah, I think that'll just about do it. There's not a ton I want to do today. Tomorrow, I'd like to go to the mines if it's a good luck day, since we'll have our new pickaxe, and we'll finally be able to explore a bit more without breaking our our bank of energy. I still need to get those three. It's a shame. But at least we should have plenty of energy for any exploring we want to do tomorrow, due to the fact that we just have a ridiculous amount of salmon berries. Is the cat... Stop it. St stop! <laughs> You're messing up my stuff. Deposit all these. They'll be worth a good amount of money. I don't tend to use those for food, really. Womp. Look at that. All just in there. Geode. We'll break those open when we have more of them to go around. Grab the forest sword and slingshot. Womp womp. Oh, algae can go over here. So I guess it's worth keeping a bit of, like, most items since they can be used for little quests like that. I know I'm turning in earlier today, but we did a lot, so I'm happy with it. Wait, what just happened? Whoa, already? Level five fishing. 
Fisher or Trapper? I think we just got an achievement for reaching level five on something. This is a tough choice. Because I would like to do quite a bit of crab pot fishing eventually due to the fact that we're on a beach farm. It, it's super easy to do, low effort. But getting money from fish is also a really good source of income. I think by the time that we're going to be selling fish, that we'd want to sell fish and get this boon really well upgraded, we'll be making plenty of money from crops. I'm going to go with Trapper, and as I understand it, that's an extremely unpopular skill tree to go up. So yeah, every time you hit level 5, you'll actually have a separate skill tree. What? Bullheads are worth 150 for Iridium? Wow. That's good. Yeah, you can see how good those Iridium quality ones are, even for super common fish. Carp are only worth 60 as Iridium. It's kind of sad. Well, geez. I didn't expect to get that much money. We should be able to get the coop real soon. Especially considering the strawberries that we have planted. Greenhorn. Oh, we made 15,000. That's what we got the achievement for. Tomorrow, what do we got? Clear and sunny. You hate to see it. The spirits are displeased. Man! Then I'm not going to the mines. I'm sorry. That last time that we went to the mines in a bad luck day, just it wasn't good. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again for another tip. Refreshing rain. A farmer's best friend. When it rains, you don't have to water your crops. More importantly, you get those special rain fish. Two more beans. Yeah, I think I'm going to focus on using these beans that we've been growing for friendship and nothing else, really. Oh, geez. What's the plan for today? If I can't go to the mines because of really bad luck then what would I do instead? I don't want to do fishing even more because we just did fishing. Also, we just lowered uh, the requirements to craft a crab pot. It's now copper bars instead of iron bars. That's actually a lot better. I think I'll make a few of those soon when we don't really need our copper and start putting them up here because that'll be the best spot for them. Not the best spot. It doesn't really matter where you put them. But that also means we're going to need copper bars for a lot of different recipes. I almost think that I should still just go to the mines, but that's the worst luck you can possibly have. Ooh, we actually have enough co copper to make another... You know what? I'll make a crab pot. Who cares? Who gives a darn? All right. You know what? I think today will be a day that we focus on forging. It's also Pam's birthday today. I won't forget that. Luckily, we'll be able to get her something a little bit later. But I'm just going to focus on breaking a lot of stumps and all that. Get some more hardwood, maybe. And then we'll go pick up our pickaxe. Hopefully, tomorrow we're able to properly do some exploring in the mines. Because I do need stone if I want to finish the bundle the construction bundle. I also need st stone if I want to get the coop, which apparently we're going to get real soon because we have so much money. And of course, once our strawberries come up, that's, you know, that's, we're done. We're set. It's so much money. It's ridiculous. So I'm just going to start cutting down trees. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. I cut down quite a few trees. Got another mahogany seed. So of course I'm going to plant it. Why is this one not growing yet? Oh, I planted that one a day earlier. That's why. Trees take a while. We've got our two copper now. So I'm actually going to create... Create, I say, as if I'm inventing it. I have wood. Boom. Crab pot. That's a lot easier to make when you have the copper requirement. You just place it in the water, and you do need bait. So I'm going to put that there, put the rest in and load it with bait and that'll yield something tomorrow morning now let's see put all those in there put the copper up i'm gonna go to town i do want to give a bunch of gifts today as well because i think it would be nice if we could increase our standing with a couple of villagers get some daffodils And I'll give those beans to people who need it. All right, I'm going to walk around. I'll show the highlights. 
Now, Marnie, I know for a fact that you like beans. So I'm gonna give you beans. Make that, make our life easier on that front. What's our relationship looking like for everyone? We got a heart with Sebastian? I guess doing that mission yesterday helped. Marnie, we've actually given two. Oh yeah, I forgot that just giving them an item doesn't count as talking to them. That'll be useful. I just would like to see like where I am for everyone. Haley's the highest out of the single people we have. Sebastian being next. Linus, I just find really easy to get high affinity with because he kind of likes most things that you can eat. He's one of the few people that likes salmon berries. So since I have, oh, just a little 103, I, that that's enough to give him for the whole year. So that's easy. Leah is someone I would like to start giving driftwood since that's one of the items she likes. Do you like bean? You like bean. All right, that works for me. Haley's already off somewhere. I would like to find her. What's today? Today's a Thursday. I believe she's going to the fountain. Where, where are you? Jeez. She likes daffodils. That's good that Evelyn does. That makes that easy. Can get a little bit of friendship with Evelyn. I really do want to focus a little bit more on giving people gifts. Yep, sure enough, she's at the fountain. Haley also likes daffodils. Plus, we've already given her one for her birthday, so she's actually somewhat high up on the friendship list. I do need... Let's not forget to go to Clint. That's important. So I can get my... Copper pickaxe. I almost forgot what we had given him. And of course, let's not forget that it is Pam's birthday. And I know that you can't buy pale ales here? Oh, oops. Hey, pancakes give you plus two foraging. That'd be a way you could get some more salmon berries if you had already reached level six, which would be really hard. You'd really have to focus on it, but still. Plus two foraging. I mean, it could be useful. Maybe not, though. Gonna take a Oh, it's 400. Christ, I didn't realize it was so expensive. I'm sure we can give Pam something else she likes. Ooh, guess what I just realized? I know that Pam actually loves a certain crop that we have. Remember to always save your crops. So I'm gonna go grab that. I didn't save a parsnip. You know what? This is worth it. We have plenty of days in spring left. I'm gonna grab a, cold, a gold parsnip. And it's an item she loves. So this will this ought to get us a lot of hearts with her. I'd say three just outright, just thinking about it. So that'll be nice. So the reason we've never been able to find Pam on most weekdays, she's in Joja Mart. She's gonna love that. I just wanna see this. Look at that, three hearts, easy. I don't remember if we had a heart off the bat also. Here's Shane working here. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. I believe you get just a tiny, tiny bit of friendship whenever you talk to them when they're busy. But you want to make sure that you, most of the time, talk to them. Wait, he doesn't close at four, right? Please tell me he doesn't close at four. He closes at four. I missed it. I should have grabbed him before I went to Pam. Oh, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I didn't want to go to the mines today anyway because of the bad luck. So that's fine. Uh, what are we gonna do for the rest of the day? I'm gonna just go get some more foraging experience in Cindersap Forest, I think. Because wood is very important. I would like to get wood on a day that we have nothing else to do. So that works for me. <gasps> Leah, hey, I have an item for you. Very convenient. I guess she comes out here a lot. This is a really nice gift, thank you. Well, now I know for later. That should get us a heart with her, I think. Oh, really? She's still that low. Huh. Guess we need to talk to her a bit more. It's actually a lot of wild food in the area if you know where to look. Oh, baby, don't I know it. Oh, yeah, also, I think since we got a new achievement, yeah, we got a few more hats available. We have already have a straw hat and then the good old cap, which looks like it belongs to Lewis. All right, we're getting back to the farm really late. I was going out of my way to get any salmon berries that we may have missed because today is the last day that they spawn. So make sure that you get everything you need today. 
I think those salmon berries, on in terms of just filling up our energy, it'll probably last us until the very end of spring. Probably a little longer if we really reach, but hey, whatever. I don't have anything to sell. I just want to get rid of all of these. Eh, that's good. I really need to remember to get my pickaxe tomorrow. And we also want to remember to get to the traveling cart as well. I didn't realize I actually got this. So chance for a double harvest of foraged items or trees drop more wood. So here's my thing. If we went for the forester, I believe that would apply to hardwood as well. Gatherer, honestly, yeah, that can also get us a lot of money. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go for gatherer. It just feels right to me. Because I th thought about it, in terms of money, it'll be really useful when making the seed packets. Clear and sunny tomorrow. We're gonna need rain soon. Spirits are in good humor. God bless, we'll actually be able to do the mines today. Cool. Please give me two gold. Easy. Easy every time. Dear Rob, it's been long since I heard from you, dear. Things are the same as ever back home. Miss you very much. Love, Mom. P.S. I found an envel envelope with some money from Grandpa left for you. 500G. Here's the recipe. Hey, hold on. Pam? Because we got so many hearts with her, she likes us now. Recipe for a little treat my pappy used to make. Cook it slow. Cheese cauli. I'm assuming that will take cauliflower and cheese, and it's trash. Oh yeah, something I should have mentioned. The crab pots are not going to give you much because they get trash very, very often. Farmer Rob, I have a request. I need fresh cauliflower for a recipe I want to make. Could you bring me one? Well, sure. Ooh, I just noticed since it's the 19th, you won't be able to complete this unless you already have cauliflower planted. Luckily I do. She's asking you to bring her one. This is why I always recommend to have one extra of every crop at any given time. These aren't ready, right? Yeah, okay. Just in cases like that, when she asks for cauliflower or some random other thing. By the way, requests that you get in the mail like that never expire. They're always going to be there, which can be annoying because that means that they'll always be there if you're unable to finish them right there. So put those two away. I don't need the trash, although we can make the recycling machine, which takes an iron bar, so I don't want to make it yet. But that'll turn trash into certain kinds of uh, certain kinds of good item. For instance, driftwood will make wood. I don't know how many. I'm assuming ten, because one would be just ridiculously useless. I'm gonna make seeds, and I'm gonna go ahead and. It's the last item we need: daffodil. Make as many seeds as we can, just for money-wise. I would like to have. I believe those seeds alone will get us enough money to. Bring a daffodil just in case we see Haley. What else did we need to do today? Oh, geez. Is it anyone's birthday? What's today? The 19th. I don't think so. Okay. So the plan today, we need to get the pickaxe. We want to go to the mines. That's about it. Everything I go, I'll go to the community center just to drop off this quality parsnip. But everything else is just about dealt with. Oh, and while we're in the mines, we can get enough stone for the stone construction bundle. And I actually will be able to finish... Ooh, hold on. Hold on, did that squirrel just knock out an acorn? I'm going to grab this stone for us, and I'm also going to grab the hardwood that we've collected. Just 10. Wow, we have 52. That's actually really good. And we'll be able to turn that in after we go to the mines to finish up the construction bundle as well. Yo, yo, gimme. Thank you. I guess I could have brought my geodes here, but I, I don't know. Didn't want to pack this day too heavy. Now that I have that, God bless. I didn't forget it. I like putting it right next to my sword here in my items. I'm probably going to put my tools away tomorrow or when we get to the mines anyway. Oh, 
Ugh, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of the work in this house and you know it. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe I didn't want to be here. Oh, it's that new farm boy. He has a name, you know. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Ugh, I'm really sorry to involve you in this, Rob. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Ugh. Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? Ugh. All right, you win. I guess this can be my job every week. Then there won't be any reason to argue over it. Thanks, Rob. That was a great solution. Well, where's Haley? I believe I might have... Wait, she's not even... Oh, no, she's here. They're both in their room. I think that might have been the first time that I've chosen what actively lowers a little bit of relationship. And don't make a mistake, it does not raise your relationship with Emily. I can go in her room. Yeah, I, I just realized I'm friends with some of these people. I don't have to wait for them to come out of their room. Oh, I've already given her two gifts. Oh, well, that's my bad. And I'm not friends enough with Emily to go into their room. Yeah, two hearts is the point where you're able to start going into people's rooms. Sweet. Just offload it onto Jass. You don't know me. I realize what I just did. Well, hey, that basically got rid of any any hearts we got. She, we probably increased our hearts with her right there and then lowered it. Sometimes you just automatically do things without thinking. Anyway, it's Friday, so you're here. Tulip, Summer, Spangle. Now, for some reason, I believe Spangles everyone hates, but every other flower is a universal like. Roasted hazelnut, salmon dinner. I'm surprised that doesn't raise your fish fishing level. Fairy rose, that's actually a really good flower to get, but I'm not going to buy it, obviously. Midnight carp, one slime for 600 gold. Disgusting. You can see how much of a ripoff these can be. Another rare seed, more coffee beans. Again, these are really common to show up in this shop, so I'm just going to wait for them to show up later after I buy the coop and when I have a lot more money to work with because then it won't be as much of a hit. It's, it's all about, in this game, making your money work for you. So, like... If I were to invest the 4,000 gold into the coop, that's going to make us more money sooner than if I were to just put money into buying the rare seed right now, which we can't do anything with for a while. You are you are going to want a rare seed eventually, though, so make sure you pick it up before fall. All right, I know I'm hitting the mines a little late today, but that's fine by me, to be honest put away some of the stuff I'm not going to need just to make sure I have room when I go. Uh, sure. And let's start on floor 40. Finally, we're going to be making some new progress. All right, finally, we have reached the second biome of the mines, which means we can now find iron ore. And I just realized that it says silver ore on the graphic. I'm not changing it. Get used to it. But it also means that I get to use some of the best music in the game. It is absolutely beautiful down here. Not only that, but there's a bunch of new things we can find here. We can find frost jellies, frost bats, and dust sprites as enemies. We can also find frozen geodes, aquamarine, frozen tears, and jades. Now I want to talk about dust sprites for a second because they're a pretty interesting enemy. They're super common, kind of like the bugs in the earlier floors. They have a great drop table. They're able to drop coffee beans 1% of the time. This is something that I very much want. They're a spring and summer crop, so if I were able to find one, it'd be very useful for making coffee, which increases your speed. In addition to that, they can also drop frozen tears and gold bars of all things. Although gold bars are a very rare drop at 0.1%. It's still super early that you could get it. And you'll see that we're really close to floor, what is it, 51? which is where we'll kind of go into a new area. I'm not going to show the thing on screen. We got new shoes there, just some more defense and immunity. But there's a ghost here, and I want to knock it out because it has an item that we need for a bundle. 
I'll go over exactly all that Floor 51 has for us the next time we go into the mines, though. So, see you then. All right, I'm going to pop back in here. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I can throw these boots in the trash. They're not going to get us much money. So I was spending time on this room because I wanted to get this item, which those ghosts drop. It's actually really, really good for us. Okay, I'm going to leave and we're going to head to the community center. This was an extremely good trip into the mines. Even though I didn't get down too far, I only went 10 floors. I got 50 iron ore, and I'm gonna call it silver ore a ton. I'm sorry about that. It's in my blood. Ooh, ooh, before we go, I need to make sure that I have my tools. That's one downside of doing this. I always forget. All of these items are super good. I don't need the slime anymore since I got that solar essence. Boom, boom. Oh no, there's literally nothing else I want to get rid of. This isn't good. Uh... I, I'm only miss. I need the hoe and the watering can, though. What am I going to do? It's 920. I can come back here after we go to the community center. I have a ton of items that I need to put in. All right. So we got quite a bit. I'm going to come over here to the, what is this? The boiler room one first, because we got a few items that I want to put in. Blacksmith, I don't care to do that yet. We did get a frozen tear for this. I need to bring a earth crystal and a quartz. We can't get fire quartz yet. Adventures bundle, we did get 10 bat wings and we only need one solar essence. So that's actually just done outright. Really glad I didn't have to get that 99. And it us an item we already have. I didn't have to get that 99 slime. This of course opens up yet another bundle list. Notice this one opens up the minecarts. That's actually one of the best things that you could get. I won't tell you exactly what it does yet, but it's still so good. This bulletin board is the bane of everyone's existence. Three apples, ten hay, ten wheat. Those apples are going to be the most problematic thing. Fiddlehead fern, truffle, fried egg, all of that comes in summer or later. Dye bundle. We do have aquamarine, actually convenient this red cabbage worst thing on this whole list worst thing in this entire community center that's a that's a stopper for a lot of people it's a i want to say summer or fall crop but you can normally only get it in the second year frozen geode for that we also need mushroom nautilus shell and chub Ooh, i shouldn't have gotten rid of my chubs that's what we just looked at the chef's bundle i think we checked them all out now right Chanter's bundle. So this one's really hard as well. Pomegranate is a fruit tree fruit. Rabbit's foot is really hard to get. These two will be a bit easier. So that's nice. All right, going over here, we have the construction bundle finished. And we actually, oddly enough, have an item for the winter bundle. So in the ice caves area, did I get anything here? No. Go ahead and pop in the hardwood and the stone which gets us a charcoal kiln. That's fine. I don't like to make charcoal kilns myself because they're kind of expensive for not a great effect. And then we go to winter forging. We actually got the crystal fruit. You can get most of these. In fact, I want to say you can get all of these in the winter or the ice mines. So you don't actually have to forge them in winter. Was there anything else I wanted to put in anywhere? Nothing for that. Oh, and this unlocks our last bundle. This is the last set of bundles. Don't worry. I'm not even going to go over there to look at that. All of that one is just money. You just need absolute loads of money for that. Did we get? Uh, no. Quality crops bundle. Boom. That's done. We don't have to worry about this until summer. In fact, I believe that means we've done almost all of the spring exclusive bundles, except for we have a few fish left. That's actually really nice. And um, I just forgot. I could leave the force sword and the slingshot. I don't need those. I'm going to keep the pickaxe just because we have rocks on our farm. That's the only reason. 
there anything else that's just here that I can leave? I mean, I don't need monster loot for the most part. I mean, yeah, there's no reason to have it, though. Not have it, though. That gold ore is nice. Unfortunately, we did not get enough gold ore to make a bar. That would have been really, really nice this early on, but there's not much we could do with it anyway because the crafting recipes that you need with it unlock later on. I'm cutting this close. All right, I need to get in bed before sundown, put in those iron ores. Am I selling anything? This oyster that I found. Aquamarine, I want to keep. Jade, I want to keep. Mm, we actually have quite a bit to go to. Dunk, 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 dunk. Look at that, that fills up real quick. And that, and that. Christ, we did get this quality retaining soil. That's actually really good. It has a, I want to say, 70% chance of keeping your crops watered so you don't have to water them again. Of course, we only got three, so how useful is it really? But for the beach farm specifically, that's really nice to have. Cool. Well, I think I'm going to end it off there. Silver's going to take a while. Or iron, steel, whatever. i got to pause because I'm going to die. Thank you all for joining me. And look at that. I'm so tired. Level 9 farmhand. That's based off of your levels over here, by the way. Did we get any levels? I want to say we got a mining level or something. Maybe. See you all tomorrow. And good night.